my name's Alan. Today we're going to be doing another funny one eating chapter. This is chapter 6. So in chapter 6, so what happens is Pontian gets down and he gets into his barn. There's a bunch of llamas there. And the llamas are making a bunch of noise. And it's very dark until someone seems to be lighting some kind of lamp. And they get, they come close. There are these men with a hurricane lamp. With a hurricane lantern. Sorry. And so the men go, who are you and why are you here? And Pontian shows his little military ID. They take it. They inspect it for a moment. They give it back to him. And they automatically just lead him to Dr. Divaker's house. So when they get to Dr. Dervaker's house, they see that Dr. Dervaker is a 50 year old man, he doesn't have a mustache, he has these very thick glasses, and so the, and they get and they come in and Dr. Dervaker goes, who are you? And Pondian shows his ID and the letter from the research center, the military research center. And he go, and then Dr. Dervaker goes, well who's this kid? And Pondian explains what happened and he also says that he has some sort of of, like flu and some kind of cold and Dr. Dervaker takes a look at him and says oh he has pneumonia um and he's getting better so don't worry so after that they um some of the villagers take the uh guide and take him away somewhere and after that um Pondian goes why do these people believe that uh, you know uh you know how like the mountain devils or whatever um, got this kid back, and this Dr. Dervaker goes, well, here they would say that it would be a yeti, but um, it varies because well, this village and the village right next to it believe that they would be yetis in the mountains, but, um, they, but the other ones don't believe it, and Pandian goes, yetis, and Dr. Dervaker goes, yes, that's what I'm researching about, and Pandian goes, researching, well, what, and he goes, I'll explain later, so after that, they sleep, in this, um, yeah, they just, they just sleep, and Pondian has this, um, nylon sleeping bag, and it's very durable, so after that, they wake up, and Pondian heads out, and he sees that all of the, um, houses are kind of shaped like clay pots, like, um, like, uh, those like, brown and reddish brown clay pots, and they see that, and he's really confused, and there's, uh, there's this villager that walks up to him and goes, oh, there's this, like, public bathroom there, go use it, and Pondian goes there, he brushes his teeth, and he gets back, and he starts eating, and then he sees Dr. Dirker, he comes over, and, Doc, and then Pondian goes, this is a very, very odd village, and Dr. Dirker goes, yeah, that's what I thought when I first came here, and guess what? I um I kind of designed those pot-shaped um houses. So back so back when I wasn't here, so they actually had like normal looking houses, and these houses were made with stone, and they had an actual roof and stuff. And there would be like really big earthquakes here, and they would like crush down their houses, and um it would be I mean it would be a normal thing to see a person die uh, like once a week and but and then he goes that i fixed it by creating these um, houses that are actually made with pots so there are these tiny clay pots and we use them as bricks and we stack them up and the whole thing is shaped like a pot so we make a pot from little pots and then we even the roof is made out of pots and then we um cover it up with clay and then we put um some fuel inside of it like you know wood or something like that and we ignite it and it kind of burns from the inside it's like a kiln from the inside and Conan goes that's cool and dr Dirker goes yeah so it protects the people because you know it's like round so it can resist the wind and even if it falls, it's very light, so it won't really like um, do any um, damage. And he also goes that there is air inside of those pots, so it keeps like the outside air, the cold air, from coming inside. And Bunny goes, that's cool. And Doctor Dirker goes, well, after you finish eating, we'll um, I'll take you inside, and so yeah, we'll you'll learn about my research. And after that, the chapter ends. I hope you liked chapter six. Um, I personally enjoyed it. Bye.